today we're going to be uh, looking at uh, Blender 2.5, Blender 2.57 to be more precise. We're looking at a question from a viewer, FG Doran, I think is how you say their name. I'll have it up on the screen here in a moment. Um, and basically, um, this viewer was watching one of my old videos from uh, Blender 2.5. Uh, four nine, I believe it was, basically making a Star Wars intro. And um, in that video, I import some text from a text file into a text object. So here's an example. Here's a text file I have, uh, just some random text. There's the user FG Dorand uh, that asked the question. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. And uh, basically, their question was, "Where's that option now?" And I'll show you what they mean. Uh, come in here, I'll delete the fault cube, I'll add some text, I'll go to top view so we can see it better, so you can see the text there, and if you go over to the font tab right here, you can see you have lots of options, changing the font, extruding it, beveling it, you know, centering it, sizing it, bold italicized, a bunch of different things. But in here, there doesn't seem to be any option for loading text from a file. Hmm. Okay, so I've, I, you know, I figured it'd be there, but if not, I, I spent about 10, 15 minutes trying to find this. It's not there. I tried going into t edit mode and having a look. I tried looking over here for an option. I noticed that when I start typing something, it brings up this little text bar. I thought maybe I could paste a file in there, but it would only let me paste one line at a time. Um, I tried going up to file import, didn't see an option. I went to user preferences, went to add-ons, did a search in here for import, text, file. I tried a bunch of different things. I tried input to see if there was maybe something there. Couldn't find anything there. Finally, I found it. It's right here. When you have the text selected, the text object, and you go into edit mode by hitting tab, you'll see that this little uh, menu right here that says text appears when you click on that go to paste file find the file you want to paste and click paste file and there you go you can see that is the text from this text file at this point of course you can do all the normal things you do you can extrude it some I'll extrude it point one give it a little bit of depth there uh, we'll also um, come down here and center it I'll give the object a material make it a yellow material turn down the specular, and I'll even go over to the world, make the sky, the horizon, black, and I will add stars. And if we go to camera view, whoops, let's get out of edit mode here, camera view, I'll even scale it down some. And if I hit F12 now, you can see what that scene looks like. You have a nice Star Wars type, obviously, uh, you play with the lighting and stuff a little bit more. Um, but that's it. Once again, we'll go over that real quick. Load up the default file, delete default cube, spacebar, type add text, add some text. We'll then hit tab to go into edit mode, delete the default text there, text, paste text. Go to wherever your text file is and click paste text. And then again, you can go to your font tab and play with that some more. But uh, obviously uh, that option is still there, just kind of a... You would expect it to be over here. It'd be nice if there was like just a bar right up here at the top that said load text file or something like that. And uh, although 2.5 definitely puts things in places that make more, way more sense than they did in 2.4, because in 2.4 things were all over the place in comparison to 2.5. Um, this one thing uh, is still available just right down here, even though you would think it would be here. So uh, I thank you for watching. I ask you to visit my website, Films by Chris. That's Chris with a K. dot com. Uh, also, check us out on Facebook. There's a link in the description to all this. Uh, and uh, on Facebook, I have a Facebook fan page, and I'll post things as I'm working on them there. So you might get updates on stuff before it actually gets posted on YouTube in some cases. So check that out. If you like my videos, go ahead and give us a like over at Facebook. And uh, once again, I just thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Day.